Namaste everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about Nakshatra Jatakam. Jatak is predictive natal astrology. The astrology in the horoscope of people to predict their personal, personal fortune is Jatak. Nakshatra Jatak is the method of doing the same, making predictions of personal horoscope based on Nakshatras. So today I am going to deal about two techniques. Two of my favorite hard touched technique. One is my research. Another is a classical funda classical formula that comes from a great sage. Great sage was a contemporary of Parashar, you can say. Contemporary of Parashar or may have happened 100, 200 years after Parashar. Whatever. So, what happens? There are 27 nakshatras, you know, Ashwini, Bharani, Rohini, Mirgashira, etc. These 27 nakshatras are divided into three, set of three. So, what happens? First nakshatra, 10th nakshatra and 19th nakshatra forms the set one. This is called a Navatara. So the 27 nakshatras are divided into group of three, nine, nine each. Where first 10th and 19th nakshatra is the set one, then second 11th, 20th nakshatra is two as such. Okay. Now these nakshatras are named. Now from where this grouping is done. So this Navatara table can be made from ascendant nakshatra, can be made from moon nakshatra. So basically for this purpose, I use Ascendant Nakshatra. Okay. Ascendant is more important. Ascendant is more precise. So the table from Ascendant Nakshatra should be made. Whereas at some places the table made from. So if you are analyzing transit, this table should be made from. If you are analyzing transit of planets through Navatara table should be made from the moon nakshatra. Otherwise for the two techniques that I am teaching you it should be made from Lagana nakshatra. Okay. So basically the groups will be of Ashwini. You can see my screen, right? Ashwini Magha Mula. One set. Bharani Purva Falguni Purva Sada, set number two, Kritika Uttara Falguni Uttara Shada, set three, Rohini Hastusravan, set four, Mirgashira Chitra Danishta, set five, Adra Swati Satabisha, six, Punarvasu Visaka Purva Badraparad, seven, Pushya Anuradha Uttara Badra, eight, Aslesha Jishta Revati, nine. So twenty seven nakshatras divided into the set of nine. Okay. Now in this first set is named Janava, that means birth. Second set is Sampat, indicating wealth. Third is Vipat, indicating danger. Fourth is Chema, indicating well-being. Fifth is Pratyari, in open enemy. Sixth is Sadak, e.g. achievement. Seventh is Vat, death. Eighth is Maitra, friend. Ninth is Atimaitra, great friend. So basically the third, the fifth and the ninth is bad. 3, 5, 9 is bad. Other is good. How the table is made? Now suppose someone is born in Sadvisha Nakshat. So Sadvisha Swati Adra will be Janamatara set number 1. Vishaka Purva Badra Punarvasu will be set 2. An Uttra Badra Anuradha Pushya will be set 3. Revati Jesta Aslesha will be set 4. So on and so forth. Basically, any software will give you the list. So what you can do, you can open Jagannath Hora. Right click on this screen, select Navatara from Lagna. This ascendant is Swati. So the table is made from Swati Nakshat. This is how the Navatara table is made. Now the technique number one. See, this is well known fact that nakshatras are very important in the matter of prediction. The importance of nakshatra cannot be ignored. Specifically keeping that in mind that nakshatra indicates na shatra, those results which cannot be destroyed. Nakshatra becomes very important. The predictions based on nakshatra will come to pass for sure. It is guaranteed. Also nakshatra is 
see the users of nakshatra in vedic astrology is limited to be very honest with you but whatever uses it is it is a very definitive uses something which looks good with respect to rashi but bad with respect to nakshatra is bad in reality bad in practice okay so nakshatra have a final say nakshatra is definitive in this particular matter so what you have to do is you have to check the nakshatra of the seventh lord with respect to the navatara table that you have made from the birth nakshatra so taking as an example in this horoscope the seventh lord is the ascendant is swati so the navatara is made from swati nakshatra you see swati is nakshatra one now the seventh lord is mangal which is situated in rohini nakshatra you go to this table you try to find rohini you will find that rohini nakshatra is situated in mitra mitra friend shravan rohini hasta so seventh lord goes into mitra tara mitra means friend hence the marital life is very good right the spouse and the native is friendly enjoyment of marital life will happen so what i am telling you is i am giving you predictions for all of this the table should be made from lagna nakshatra right this is important point you should make this table from lagna nakshatra from lagna nakshatra if the seventh lord comes into janma tara birth tara then you can say this is a destined marriage this is a destined marriage this is a past life marriage so what basically we mean by past life marriage is sometime people will say god knows how we got married right or even i was not capable for marriage but we got married this type of a matching of people from two different set of life is a janma tara marriage secondarily according to me janma tara indicate health issues so in such marriage health issues are generally you know creating trouble in such marriages that becomes problematic health issue is problematic other than that understanding between the couple is very good and this is a marriage where both the couple wants to do betterment of each other thinking about each other highly dedicated highly devoted to each other when the seventh lord is in the sampat nakshatra set you see sampat indicates wealth so such marriage is very fortunate marriage after marriage the financial social professional status of the native is increased by listening to the spouse by making investments in the name of spouse etc there are great financial benefits also so financial benefits after marriage financial achievements after marriage good result in the matter of profession social status etc comes to pass if the seventh lord falls into sampat nakshatra set if the seventh lord falls into vipat nakshatra set the next set then what is happening there is danger to marriage vipat means danger there is danger to marriage this is a liability of the break in marriage in this particular scenario the marriage is very dangerous dangerous for the sustenance of marriage generally in such marriages what i have seen is one of the spouse is careless towards their children and secondarily in the affair phase or in the starting phase the people are so much the couple is so much engaged in each other so much into each other that they take risky affairs they do risky affairs they take a lot of risk which makes thing dangerous this is generally that kind of a scenario this is that kind of a bad match where the one of the person was intent on doing something and other person rather than giving them the right advice was instigating them to do it and both of them go meet with an accident kind of a case you know so unfortunate things so it is a dangerous marriage dangerous for sustenance dangerous for the by product of marriage so they are you know like one person is working very hard towards the sustenance of the family whereas another person is negligent towards it such is the case with seventh lord goes into vipata tara 
Next case is when the seventh lord goes into Chematara. In that particular scenario, the spouse is really worried about each other's well-being. They live for each other only, highly dedicated, highly devoted towards each other, care about each other's well-being, and both have a tendency of taking care of each other's family also. Right, so this is a very good marriage. This is type of a perfect match where the spouse complements each other, hides the insecurities and problems of each other and support each other in all good and bad circumstances. This is the marriage where the, the basic building block is sacrifice, where the native in bad times don't complain and in good time gives everything to the spouse and just becomes happy by seeing their spouse happy. When the seventh lord goes into Pratyari Tara, Pratyari means open enemy. In such marriages, there is enmity after some time. After some time in marriage, as bad Antardasha hits, it seems like they were never in love. They were never in love. Never in love sorry. Such people do love in such couple. Love is very quick. Hatred is even quicker. Marriage does not sustain and the spouse is detrimental to each other. They try to pull each other down. They try to create obstacles in the lives of each other. They are always complaining and both of them will want an escape route. So they have a tendency of making even small matters, big issues and fighting with each other. And this is the case where their life is all about destroying each other. It is bad for marriage. Bad for the sustenance of marriage also. When the seventh lord goes into Sadak Tara, then it indicates easy achievements. That basically means early marriage. The achievement of wife is very easy. Person will have multiple relationships also. Not only this, because of Sadak Tara, the couple, if they are into same type of profession, if they have same types of interest, if they work after taking advice of each other, then achieving things in life, having success in life, achieving new heights in life is very easy. These are the couples who understand each other, try to support each other in every good or bad situation. And this is the type of marriage where one will sacrifice themselves before for the happiness of their spouse also. After such marriage, things are very easily achieved with the support of the spouse, with the support of the each other. Accumulation of money, purchase of vehicle, making a home, producing child, all of these things happen very smoothly. Life is very smooth. Life is very lovely. When the seventh lord is in Vadatara, death tara, from birth, from the Navatara Chakra, which is made from the birth ascendant, then the longevity of marriage is short. Such marriages quickly break in divorce. The sustenance of marriage is difficult. Not only that, health issues after marriage is there, inability to produce children, difficulty to produce children is also the result. And uh, along with this, in some cases, when the seventh lord is in Vadatara, but because of other planetary combinations, because of being Vargottam, etc., marriage is sustained. In that particular scenario, lack of child and health issues torment them, disturb them, make their life difficult. When the seventh lord is in eighth or ninth nakshatra set, which is friend and great friend, in such scenario, marital life is happy and the couple is like friends towards each other. So love, live, laugh, enjoy with each other, support each other, advise each other, are very friendly towards each other. Generally, this indicates that love marriage kind of a case. Sadak Tara set also indicates love marriage kind of set. So it indicates very good marriage where the spouse, where the couple is actually worried about each other actually does for each other, thinks for each other and support each other, right? Now this may look very simple, 
but this is very miraculous this is my method of predicting marriage in two minutes two, two minute is a long time <laughs> said in one minute only you can predict it now there are two things that are important point number one is the seventh lord can be in vadatara pratyaktara vipatatara that indicates bad marriage but if the seventh lord is otherwise good only influenced by benefic planets etc then the divorce or break of marriage will not happen but other problems will be there whereas even when the seventh lord is in good che mitra janmatara etc but is very much afflicted combust in planetary war etc then in that scenario though the good results are felt but the marriage does not sustain for long and it can break this have to be kept into consideration while making prediction and when this kept into consideration it gives very great result and this is the original classic approved sage developed time tested method of predicting natal horoscopes through nakshatras now i am going to talk of one of my first researches in matchmaking using which i have matched horoscopes of people and seeing their marriage matching seeing you know looking at their marital life the enjoyments that they had in marital life it have given me immense satisfaction one of my researches so my basic point my first criteria before matching a horoscope is this navatara chakra itself once again whether moon should be matched or ascendant should be matched is the major one so according to me moon indicates likes and dislikes which even if different between the couple does not make much of an issue if two people really love or care about each other then one is vegetarian and other is non vegetarian that should not be much of an issue specifically in today's scenario though some people can be very orthodox about it so you have to keep it in mind that for orthodox people it should be matched from ascendant also sorry moon sign also because that indicates likes and dislikes but those who are non orthodox in that case you can ignore or keep the moon nakshatra secondary also the primary is ascendant because ascendant indicates a decision intelligence thinking so ascendant matching is very important see the couple have to make a decision the couple have to go to a restaurant you say they want to go on a dinner but both of them want to go at different places and no one is ready to compromise with another one so and the result what will happen they will keep on fighting they will never be able to enjoy their date also whereas in the first case they both are done on we want to go at the same restaurant the only thing is one wants to eat a chinese food another wants to eat mexican okay you sit on the same table one will eat chinese one will eat mexican what's the problem are you getting my point so according to me ascendant matching is important what you should do you should make navatara from the lagna nakshatra as i have told you this should be made from lagna nakshatra you make this navatara chart and then you see where is the birth nakshatra of your spouse falling for a particular example a person a boy is born in virgo lagna uttara phalguni nakshatra he gets married to a lady born in punarvasu nakshatra now you start 
काउंटिंग फ्रॉम उत्तरा फाल्गुनी उत्तरा फाल्गुनी वन हस्ता सेट टू चित्रा सेट थ्री स्वाति सेट फोर विशाखा सेट फाइव इन दिस विशाखा सेट पुनर्वसु इज कमिंग सो दिस इज फिफ्थ नक्षत्र सेट नाउ यू कम इन टू दिस टेबल फर्स्ट इज जन्म सेकेंड इज संपत थर्ड इज विपत फोर्थ इज सेम फिफ्थ इज प्रत्यरी ओपन एनिमी so despite the fact that this was a love marriage the even some time after marriage the couple became inimical to each other specifically this boy because it is the boy's horoscope in which the matching is bad from the girl's horoscope if you will see because this can be done in reverse order also so girl is punarvasu punarvasu 1 pushya 2 aslesha 3 भरनी फोर कृतिका फाइव उत्तरा फाल्गुनी कम्स इन द कृतिका सेट सो फ्रॉम द फीमेल साइड आल्सो दिस इज फाइव फाइव बट दिस इज नॉट दिस इज ओनली इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस इन अदर केसेस इट कैन बी दैट इट इज गुड फ्रॉम द बॉयज हॉरोस्कोप बैड फ्रॉम द गर्ल्स हॉरोस्कोप बैड फ्रॉम द गर्ल्स हॉरोस्कोप गुड फ्रॉम द बॉयज हॉरोस्कोप दैट सेटअप कैन ऑल्सो बी देयर राइट फाइव फाइव सेटअप विल बी देयर इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी so because the matching is bad from the boy's horoscope also and the matching is bad from the girl's horoscope also in just one one and a half years after marriage both of them became inimical towards each other they did not wanted to see each other and specifically the boy started doing all these things which the girl never liked and just like an enemy he was getting enjoyment in doing things which annoyed the girl and all this thing happened so basically they both became inimical and because it was an arranged marriage kind of a scenario it sustained for some 6 7 more months but such matches are such matches generally don't last and finally it resulted in a divorce all right now traditionally speaking by gun milan etc the matching is good but according to my research formula this is my first i have six principle for match making i apply these six principles and if these are matched i match the horoscope and if any of them is not matched i will say that this is a marriage where you will have to do compromise and if three or more than three of these are not matching then it is a pure no from my side this is my own principle the first of which is this principle right the so marriage somehow could not sustain the basic point that i am making is from your horoscope you count for example if you are born in swati then the second nakshatra set is punarvasu vishakha purva bhadra this is sampattara so people born in swati satvisha or adra nakshatra when they get married to a lady or a boy born in punarvasu vishakha or purva bhadra prad nakshatra in that particular scenario because it is activation of sampattara which indicates wealth there is great financial success after marriage after marriage the wife literally becomes lakshmi and after marriage great financial benefit is there the result is the same both having their nakshatra in janma tara love towards each other is there they understand each other very well but health issues will be there sampad gives financial blessing in vipat do both love each other but the marriage cannot sustain because of third factors you understand what third factor means in the fourth tara set of chema well being the couple is worried about each other good marriage pratyari they both become start behaving like inimical just after marriage in the sadak matching easy achievements in life after marriage in the vad matching the marriage cannot sustain and in the mitra and ati mitra matching the couple is really by heart worried about each other and do things which pleases each other marital life is good marital life is happy 
So these are two of my very favorite techniques of using in Avatara Chakra, which gives result surprisingly very accurate. Specifically, this research, uh, research of matchmaking because there are very few principles in matchmaking and highly the result of, you know, judging the uh, star of the, judging the nakshatra, sorry, judging the nakshatra of the seventh lot, this gives highly accurate result. Hence, I wanted to share it with you so that it will improve your astrological practice. Thank you for watching the video. Namaskar.